Hey everyone, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, as you know, before I have installed the uh, eight gigabytes around the uh, Toshiba. This is the one that's uh, the Z935 version, as you can see right here. Uh, so I had a, did another video where I installed uh, eight gigs, so now I have ten gigabyte of RAM on this. So now what I've done, uh, I've been running Windows 8 on this. It normally comes with Windows 7, as you can see here. And actually it's running pretty good. Um, it's running pretty quick with Windows 8. Everything seems to be running fluidly. Everything um, opens up quickly. Right now actually I have it on the... I'll show you guys quickly. I have it under Echo Mode uh, to give you the best battery life. So I've also uh, attached the mouse to it. So I'm going to go ahead and also be using both. Just to give you guys a quick look. Uh, as everything, as you can see, everything is very fluid. Uh, plays the videos very quickly um, everything runs quick even on echo mode so most of the time I can have this and give me the best battery life uh, it gives me around uh, I would say anywhere from six to seven hours of battery life with it uh, everything else runs really nice I do that video full screen so you guys can take a look everything is runs re really good uh, there's no uh, delays or pauses on this as you can see there and what you can do is let me go back to this and I'll go ahead and put this on the side here so you guys can see real quick as you can see that oops I can go open up two different applications this uh, let me open up another application let me open up Chrome here And I'll go ahead and um, I'll go back to the Internet Explorer. And as you can see, I can divide these double screen here, leave those running in the background there. Uh, again, if you slide your hand from this side to side, you can see you can open up the window store or, or anything you're at. Let's go to the store here. I have applications running. As you can see, I can put these on the side here as a little toolbar. Um, everything runs really good. As you can see there, go back and forth. Go back to the store here. Go back to this one. Or just uh, leave it there and stay at the store here. And you can just browse around as you want. Uh, let's go back to show you guys some other things. Um, okay, you can run the weather. Again, you can have... I'll make this one full screen for you guys. And you can divide things and set them on the side, which is very nice. I can have the weather here, calendar, or any application that you might have that you like to be running on the side of it. I'll go ahead and open this one up and we'll go ahead and um, make this one and we'll go ahead and drag this one to the side. When you want to grab something, you got to come up here to the top, bring it down and set it here on the side as you can see. And then I can go back to full version of weather here or the application you have running in the background. And this again stays here. You can read, click on little documents. This is very nice. You're you're able to read or quickly browse anything you want. As you see, I pushed this over and it, I mean I clicked on the read and it pushes anything you had running prior to that on the side automatically. You click on it back and it goes back. So that's that's very nice. Um, as you can see there. And nothing has stuttered here. Uh, everything runs very nice. I can go back to full screen, uh, take it out of full screen, comes back. I haven't loaded uh, any of my, uh, basically any of my Office documents here, but or Office uh, 2010. As I, I've just been testing it out, everything else runs really good. Uh, go to when you want to search on something you gotta come up here that's one thing I don't really like about Windows 8 before you hit the Windows key you were able to search anything you had now if you have any files or documents you can click search here type in uh, the word like we'll go uninstall um, 
as you can see it gives you these files under applications under settings it will give you uninstall programs if that's what I was looking for so it's like an extra step I wish they would have one universal like kind of like the Mac has now in Windows 7 that you can uh, quickly search for anything you have in your um, how would I say in your computer so we'll go to system here and you can see that Windex here I get um, I keep on changing things but again this is also a I'll, maybe I'll zoom in there for you guys you can see I get a 4.9 uh, the processor calculations again is 6.9 memory configuration 7.2 which is very nice uh, desktop graphics performance is the lowest is 4.9 so it, it's this uh, Toshiba is doing very good um, it's a very nice ultra portable as you can see uh, for what it has is very thin very lightweight uh, it doesn't weigh anything so if you're looking for a nice price point you probably can uh, now that Windows 8 are, is coming out um, you probably be able to pick this up uh, a lot cheaper than what originally started out at $8.99 uh, but lately this has been uh, my device I've been or computer that I've been going to you know I've been using uh, Power Director 11 with it to make videos and as you can see everything popped up really easy fast I have several applications open and nothing seems to uh, open up this one too I leave it minimized I mean nothing is really slowed down at all I got two web browsers open Explorer, and I have a lot of applications running most of the time together as you can see here I got the power director I'll go ahead and close that out but um, it's very well capable of doing Windows 8 so if you guys are looking to get in a new Windows 8 uh, ultra book and you might want to save some money you can maybe think about getting the Z series uh, it might be if you can pick this up for like $6.99 or $7.99 it's well worth the money Everything uh, here on the keyboard is very nice everything works I can you can turn on the keyboard backlighting right now is off because I had the echo mode on so I would disable the echo mode off and uh, you get a higher settings and then this keyboard lights up by default but you can change all those settings uh, everything seems to be working the function keys uh, the volume as you can see I can raise up the volume lower the volume um, everything um, Let's go works to, very nice on if it. you right click anywhere here it gives you this uh, pop-up here where you can go to all your applications here it divides applications as you can see it's, it's got the names of every this is the bo box sync 7-zip cyber links so it kind of labels them in between what you're looking for kind of makes it a little bit easier so if you're looking for anything you can just like also type in here that since you're already in applications if you're looking for uh, let's say cyberlink as soon as you can see that I have cyberlink 11 and 10 installed in here I hit escape here it takes me back to the apps here maps is working pretty nicely too I don't need to uh, I don't I, I I prefer the Google Max but um, this doesn't do a bad job either so it's nice to have some kind of mapping software when you're looking for something as you're zooming in as you can see here that looks very nice so anytime you want to close an application just drag it down and let it go and that's uh, closed up so uh, there's uh, some nice features on here Go back to all apps and then um, I've, I've installed the Intel app up store that's in there installed too so again very nice uh, should show you guys got over Evernote desktops and um, you can go to the sports see what's going on with sports loads up the quick app there these are the UIs that are the mobile app not mobile but the new applications that um, Microsoft has done for the new Windows 8 this is very nice because you can quickly view anything you want again I can put it on this side by dragging it or I can just make slide this over from here and now this becomes a shortcut kind of 
and you see uh, we'll go NFL gives you the scores here and now this has become my my big reading pain one so I can keep going back and forth scroll it uh, on this as well as you can see here whatever you want to read and this is you want to catch some quick scores you can look over here on the side to it so that's a quick look at uh, Windows 8 running on the Toshiba Z935 so if you guys are interested to see what um, Windows 8 would look on this uh, Toshiba I'll give you a look, quick look thanks for watching